Welcome to Psychology Daily. We continue on developmental psychology and today we will finish our review of developmental theories with a logical and evolutionary viewpoint. Let's begin. The most basic assumption etologists make is that members of all animal species are born with a number of biologically prone behaviors that are products of evolution and adaptive in that they are contribute to survival. Human ethologists such as John Bowley believe that children display a wide variety of programmed behaviors. For example, the cry of human infant is thought to be a biologically programmed distress signal that attracts the attention of caregivers. So, the adaptive significance of infants crying ensures that infants' basic needs, for example, food, water, safety, are met and the infant will have sufficient contact with other human beings to form primary emotional attachments. Ethologists are well aware that development requires learning. For example, the infant's cries may be an innate signal that promotes the human contact from which emotional attachments emerge. However, those emotional attachments do not happen automatically. The infant must first learn to discriminate familiar faces from those of strangers before becoming emotionally attached to a caregiver. Modern evolutional theory also interested in specifying how natural selection might predispose us to develop adaptive traits, motives and behaviors. Modern evolutionary theories argue that pre-selected adaptive motives and behaviors are those that ensure the survival and spread of the individual's genes, not to save individual itself. Compared to other animal species, human beings develop very slowly and require others nutrients and protection for many years. Lengthy period of development accompanied by protection provided by all the individuals allow juveniles to require all physical and cognitive competences, knowledge and social skill to occupy a niche as productive member of modern human cultures. Evolutionary theories view this long period of immaturity as necessary evolution adaptation. That was ethological and evolutionary viewpoint on child development. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow.